Wadao mnamo 1892 kuna mrembo alizaliwa pale Texas USA anaitwa Elizabeth Bessie Coleman. Bessie Coleman couldn't have been born at a worse time. Around that time kukuwa tu mweusi ilikuwa laana. Mm. Around that time kukuwa msichana mwanamke ilikuwa ni shida tupu. But you he could stop Bessie Coleman from chasing her dreams. Yeye yeah, mazee dream yake growing up ilikuwa kukuwa pilot. Kitu haikuwa imewahi fanyika ever na a female black person at the time. Never. At that particular time system sazikuwa in such a way that uh, a black a female anaweza pasu career kama aviation uongo mbaya hiyo haingewezekana so what happened ni Bessie Coleman ilibidi apige hustle apige grind deadly a save ndio apande ndege okay apande ship aende all the way back to paris aende a join aviation school in paris france which is exactly what she did alienda aka qualify huko akapata pilot's license yake akarudi America na akapiga kazi safi sana in fact by the time she was 34 Elizabeth Bessie Coleman was the first black person in America male or female kukuwa na an international pilot license ilikuwa ni haikuwa na happen any 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 other Tuesday yani hiyo ilikuwa ni kitu worth mentioning at that particular time So what Bessie Coleman alikuwa anapenda kufanya sana ilikuwa hizi ma air shows alikuwa stunt woman deadly sana alikuwa anapiga maneuvers pale na ndege yake ni nini nini na one time in 1926 alikuwa na prepare kwenda air show in a different state so akangojea mechanic wake mazee amlete ndege kutoka eh, somewhere i think ilikuwa imeenda repairs or something so as we mechanic na kam kuleta ndege ikakuwa inasumbua sana iko na some mechanical issues hapa na pale ni nini nini na vile jamaa alilanda kaenda kwa kina besi akawaambia najua tunafaa kwa tukitoka tukielekea air show lakini mazee hiyo ndege vile nime feel kuna kitu iko off but basic coleman being the roju that she was akasema ina mambo bana mi si wewe unajua mambo ya ndege bana vile si tunaitambua tutangangana nayo mpaka tufike so mekanika akasema ina mambo yenyewe na kutambua unajua na gana hii mambo ya ndege deadly we tuzidi so they took off in texas uh, that that day in uh, 1926 and as they were flying unfortunately maze engine nika ika fail na kwa ile design ya kujaribu ku, ku maneuver maneuver hapo i think ndege ile turn kwa fujo unfortunately that time basic coleman hakuwa ame buckle up like old dem alikuwa amejiamini mpaka alikuwa anapiga ma flights huko kaajafunga belt so what happened ni alirushwa nje ya ndege so mechanic wake akiwa amekaa hapa nyuma maze alikuwa pilot kwa ndege i mean alikuwa passenger kwa ndege aina pilot So ili kuja tu down 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 kama imepiga chini mechanic akadidi on the spot of course basic Coleman pia kapoteza life yake uh, on that fit, fateful day she was 34 years old by the time she died ni shujaa huyo against all odds aliendesha hiyo ndege hata kama life ilikuwa cut short prematurely alifanya kitu watu wengi sana hawakuweza kufanya kofi kwake Haya, Ben 47, twende kazi. Kurugenzi <laughs> my man yo hi on heroines episode 11 na kama k if the vibe is just right you just know it's another one by the ladies yo kwanza kabla kitu yoyote ile umeshika tikiti yako ya click click bang if not what you waiting for ujaona trailer wewe ujaona trailer mata ben gonga watu na trailer wasikie vizuri Mini Simba 
Acha jungle li kuingori aje Sezi kula nyasi nini Nipige risasi Na kisha maliza Yugani yako ni zajitia Kosho sure unataka kumiss hiyo mtu yangu? Are you are you really sure? Are you sure? We, ingia pale bana angalia press and posters for details. Tukutane hapo siku ya premiere. Eh, tuangalie blockbuster. Ama namna gani? Naambia itakuwa fire. Fire kama history inaenda kupiga sahi. Very nice. Wadau unataka twende moja kwa moja mpaka US of A United States of America nimepiga season mzima ya high on heroines na all my heroines have been adults this one is a special episode because the heroine on today's episode is a one and a half year old girl from Texas USA wadau 1986 January mzee mzima chip na demi yake sisi walibarikiwa msichana mrembo sana kwa majina a uh, Jessica Maclua. Jessica Maclua alizaliwa a very jovial girl ni msichana very happy ame grow up akipenda cartoon ya Winnie the Pooh. Alikuwa akisikia tu soundtrack ya Winnie the Pooh siku ime yani iko tu sawa. Walikuwa wanampenda deadly. Ah, such a bundle of joy. Ngori lakini ni ya kwamba chip na sisi Mama ya Jessica Maclua walikuwa pia ni watoto. 18 year olds wanajaribu kupambana na maisha ya Amerika. Maisha imekuwa ni ngumu inawachachia deadly lakini wanangangana despite the fact that ni watoto wanajua hapa wako na kiumbe ambacho kimetoka kwa Mungu na lazima wakitunze so wamejikaza kweli kweli kulinda mtoto. Watu ambao walikuwa wanajaribu kusaidia mmoja wao ilikuwa ni sister ya sisi mama ya Jessica sister ya sisi alikuwa anaishi mahali ambapo si mbali sana na mahali ya kina sisi na, na chip wanaishi na alikuwa amewaambia in case msikie ni kama mambo inakuwa mzito mnalemewa don't hesitate kujeni na Jessica kwangu you know i run a baby daycare tutakaa na Jessica pale i interact na watoto wengine acheze asikie vizuri nyinyi mpumue kidogo sababu unajua saa nyingine kwa watoto kama kwa watu wakubwa inatuchachia na je nyinyi 18 year olds muna mumesha kuwa adults muna sukumana na economy ya America ya the 80s na hiyo time sidhani economy ilikuwa mzuri sana so once in a while se, sisi wakati chip ameenda job sisi alikuwa anachukua Jessica anampeleka kwa sister yake kule Texas wanacheza cheza na watoto wengine hapo kwa daycare nini nini sasa so, zingine hata wanaka huko a couple of days at least load ipungue on this particular day Chip ametoka, ameenda kazini kama kawa. Eh, sisi amemwambia, uh, leo nitapeleka nani? Jessica kule kwa auntie yake. Eh, so ukirudi upate siko, jua uko ndio tumeamua kulala. Haina mambo. Chip anaenda kazini. Sisi anaweka Jessica hapa, anabeba virago vyake kiasi kiasi na anakimbia mpaka kwa sister yake. Wanaenda wanaacha wanaweka eh, Jessica pale lakini hiyo siku sister yake anapata errand. Anamwambia ah Mungu ni mwema umefanya vizuri sisi kukamu. Sababu akiitabidi ni kuachie hii deke ya kidogo na need kukimbia mahali fulani kuna jambo la dharura. Kuna ka agency mahali kiasi. Of course sisi ana kitu ya kufanya ambia ina mambo. We changamka enda fanya mambo yako mimi niachia watoto nitawachunga mimi mwenyewe napenda watoto. So sister ya sisi ana wanaagana vizuri na anatoka anaenda errand zake. Sisi anabaki hapo na mtoto wake Jessica na hao watoto wengine wako kwa daycare. So anachunga watoto vizuri anacheza nao mambo iko sawa wanatulia pale nyuma ya nyumba sababu hii daycare ilikuwa ni kwa nyumba ya huyu sister yake so wanatoka eh, nje ya nyumba kidogo hapo kwa backyard eh, wanacheza cheza na watoto hapo at least wa, wa roll, roll kwa nyasi wasikie vizuri nini nini eh, sisi anavuta kiti anakaa mahali ndio wa watch watoto wakifanya mambo yao kwa nyasi lakini akiwa pale anasikia simu inalia mind you This is 
1987 hakuna mongolio hakuna simu atiikilia unainyongea kwa mfuko ah ah lazima ukimbie mpaka huko ndani sababu ni landline uende usikize ukipata ni mtu unataka unasikiza ukitaka upata ni mtu utaki unakata na unaweka hiyo handset kando unamupiga block nishaiwaambia hii kitu before so simu inalia pale ndani ya nyumba akawapa nje na watoto wanacheza akapiga hesabu ya dakika mbili akaona okay since tuko tuko hii backyard yetu wacha niache ya watoto nikimbie kwa nyumba niende nishike hii simu mbio mbio pengine ni emergency you never know so anaacha watoto anakimbia pale kwa nyumba anashika simu e, anaongea na yule ambaye yako kwa simu i think ilikuwa ni huyu sister yake mwenye ametoka ameenda shughuli wakamalizana lakini kabla akate simu anasikia pale nje nduru watoto wanapiga nduru pale so anatupa simu hata irudishi kwa ile receiver yake ana e, ile, ile e, place receiver inaikago anawatilia ana tu simu anatoka nje very fast anaenda anapata watoto wako tu sawa wamesimama wana wanaangalia tu chini akashindwa sasa watoto ni alarmist sasa mnapiga nduru na Mbona sioni mtoto wangu? Anahesabu ana wait a minute. Mbona sioni mtoto wangu? Ndio anakaribia karibia hapo anapata was, watoto wote wenye wako hapo wanaangalia nyasi. Anashindwa ni nini hii kwa nyasi? Anaenda kuangalia. <laughs> anapata shimo ya 16 cm diameter. 16 or 20, I think 20 cm diameter. Iko hapo kwa ground. Na ukiangalia ndani hivi ni giza giza, lakini watoto wako hapo. Ni wakashindwa kwa nini ya watoto wanaangalia shimo akaangalia tena my god anapata mtoto wake Jessica ame sijui kama ni kuteleza ama aliona tu shimo akaamua kuingia so aliingia na mguu moja mwili ikaingia kwa shimo hii mguu wenye ilibaki nje ikamfuata nyuma oh sorry sorry sti pole So Jessica ako ndani ya hiyo sh- shimo mguu moja imehang chini lakini hii mguu mwingine amepiga split so amejaribu ame move imekuja hapa mbele so amepiga split hivi mguu moja iko juu ya kichwa na hiyo mguu mwingine iko chini ako kwa kash- ka- ka- naweza kaita kanini yako shaft ya 20 cm hii shaft inaenda chini 20 feet My friend sema kuchanganyikiwa akajaribu kuingiza mkono aone kama atashika kitu hata kama ni hiyo mguu sababu mguu ilikuwa hii mguu moja iko juu ya kichwa kidogo hata ashike tu hiyo mguu ajaribu kuvuta but Jessica every second anaenda tu akislip 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 so mara ya kwanza alikuwa mahali kidogo anaweza jaribu kufikia lakini before I make your decision ya kuweka mkono ndani kumvuta Jessica alikuwa amesha sleep amefika level fulani mama yake aweze mfikia nduru piga 911 masimo emergency services wanafika hapo e, firefighters polisi paramedics wanakuja wanaangalia wanapata Jessica ameingia kwa shaft Ah hakuna vile wanaweza 20 cm unajua vile ni, ni, ni kidogo in fact wengine walikuwa nasema hiyo kuingia inaweza kuwa ni rahisi kujaribu kumtoa tena kwa hiyo inaweza kuwa hata inaweza damage inaweza kuwa ni normal deadly sasa ikakuwa hapa tuna need specialized help hapa lazima tulete wataalam ndio watusaidie kutoa huu mtoto ndani ya shaft Texas ni it's an oil state so kuna a lot of mines na nini na unajua ku mine oil mna deal na hizo mashimo deep deep sana so ma engineer wakakam kutoka kwa ma different oil eh, mining companies wakakuja mazee wakaanza ku assess hiyo 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 shaft ni nini nini wakasema eh hey, hapa hapa itakuwa trick juu hakuna vile tunaweza ingiza mtu juu atoe hakuna msaeneza tosha hapo hiyo ni uongo so the only way umto hii atatoka kwa hii shaft ni hapa kando ya hii shimo si ndio hii shaft inaenda hivi chini hapa wachimbe shaft ingine shimo ingine wapite mahali Jessica yuko waende chini then waanze ku across across 
akuje ikuje itokee kwa hii yenye yuko ndio Jessica aki drop akuje awapate hapa chini then wa retrieve wa extract hivyo haya ikasemekana twende kazi equipment zikaanza kuingia kwa hiyo backyard ya sister ya sisi wameleta matractor wameleta ma rigs za kupiga kudunga kuchimba mashimo nini nini watu wanafanya ile kitu so kuna ile inaitwa nini ile kitu ya ile drill ya kuchimba mawe niko sure mnaijua hiyo so vibrations hiyo kitu ni deadly sana as our sasa nachimba hiyo kitu drrr. vibrations zinafanya Jessica anafanya nini anashuka zaidi but wakasema tutapambana tutapambana mpaka tupate huyo mtoto hey, around that particular time watu wengine wa gani wamesikia hiyo ripoti media media wako hapo any news agency you can think of walikuwa kwa hiyo baki ya dia huyo sister ya sisi that particular day nakwambia rescue ya baby Jessica ilikuwa televised the whole world CNN wali camp kwa huyo nini 24 hours like hakuna kitu kingine tunafanya tuna film hii rescue ya baby Jessica so the whole world mazee wanajua Texas kuna mtoto ameingia kwa shimo fulani na anaendelea kusink zaidi na wase huko wanangangana kumtoa ili kuwa it, it was a frenzy pressure ikaanza jumpaka president amejua kuna mtoto ameingia kwa shimo bana eh hey, mbona 5 6 7 10 hours zimeisha na hajatoka weka pressure weka pressure so kila mtu alikuwa anafanya kazi pale yani kulikuwa tu na uoga fulani yani aki Mungu tushikilia shikilia aki huyu mtoto asijaribu kuenda sababu the whole world was watching the only other time kushai kuwa na situation kama hiyo ilikuwa five years before hapa tuko 1987 actually six hapa tuko 1987 piga riwa in selector mpaka 1981 mtaa ya Italy Italy kuna kijana mmoja mdogo sana wa miaka sita anaitwa Alfredo. Kijana mpole yani anapenda wazazi ako tu sawa. Alfredo ameenda kucheza kwa I think ni nyanya yake, grandfather yake or something. Akiwa katika ile pilka pilka ya kucheza, aka, kuna well hakuwa ameiona. Well imechimbwa pale. Sia, Alfredo akaingia ndani. Sasa ile ya Jessica ilikuwa imeenda ndani sijui 20 feet ama ni 24 feet. Hii ya Alfredo ilikuwa imeenda ndani 200 sijui and 20 feet very far yani ni far huko chini so mazee wakajaribu kutafuta umu wakatafuta mtoto wakatafuta mtoto wakiwa karibu ku give up ndio jamaa moja akipiga maround hapo karibu na hiyo well akasikia very faint voice ya mtoto akiitana mami mami at a distance so akajaribu kukuja akifuata fuata hii sauti mpaka akafika kwa hiyo opening ya hiyo well ndio akadiscover ndani ya well alfredo ameingia huko so very fast authorities wakaitwa nini nini wakakamo wakakuja na vifaa wakajaribu sana kutoa Alfredo sasa hii shimo Alfredo alikuwa ameingia it was slightly wider slightly wider but see at ni wide design mona, mtu yote wa kawaida anaweza ingia ah ah ilibidi watafute mtu ambaye ako na alizaliwa bila collar bones na wakapata kuna jamaa hapo alizaliwa bila collar bones so hii nini yake inaweza jifold hivi kama kitabu huyo ndio aliwekwa upside down akaingizwa ndani ya hiyo shaft but una imagine kusinkisha mtu over 200 feet chini ndio aende ashike Alfredo na mkono wavute pamoja na jamaa ali succeed alienda akafika mpaka chini kwa Alfredo akaona mali Alfredo yuko aka, alikuwa amebeba harness mind you all this time ako upside down jua me unainuliwa na, na miguu hivi unaingia head first so akaenda akaweka harness kwa Alfredo lakini hiyo process ya kuweka harness ni nini, nini jua Alfredo amefika chini kwa well na well chini ni matope ina slide nini wakajaribu kuvuta Alfredo yani vitu zina slide tu hawatoki so mjamaa wetu wa collar bones akarudishwa juu hiyo tu safari ya kupeleka jamaa chini hadi kwa Alfredo na kumrudisha juu akaokota injuries hiyo ilikuwa ni sheria wezi enda hiyo distance yote na urudi tu juu ukiwa sawa so wakamkimbiza hosi teke teke akaenda akapigwa first aid hapo haraka haraka nini nini wakapatia Alfredo time hapo kwanza matope ikauke kauke ndio wasukume jamaa in the meantime wamelowa chini microphone huko 
200 and something feet ndio microphone iokote anything alfredo anasema akiwa huko chini nini na pia wakasukuma ka pipe kana sukuma oxygen huko ndani haya jamaa amepigwa first aid huko kwa hospitali teke teke akarudi akawekwa tena fungwa miguu ingizwa huko ndani matope ishaka ukakauka sasa nini nini sasa toa alfredo kumbe alfredo ameingia design flani kwa matope imekauka imemshika so hakuna vile unaweza mtoa kwa hiyo matope walingangana na alfredo for a total of five days wakijaribu kutoa alfredo kwa matope chini ya well 200 feet chini unfortunately alfredo alikuwa na shida ya heart so alikuwa na breath twice as fast <gasps> So hiyo ina maanisha na consume hiyo oxygen na rate ingine deadly sana. Alafu hiyo stress ya kukua huko chini it was just too much for him. Wakati wanarudi for the very final attempt walipata Alfredo eh, kichwa ime, imeanguka na nyuma ame roll macho wakajijazia tu huyu kijana tumejaribu kile tunaweza but imekata. At that particular time the whole uh, the media ilikuwa hapo Italy mzima wana watch mazee hiyo rescue ya Alfredo alafu Alfredo aka pass so unaona ile yani it was just the worst time for the parents for the rescue workers yani ilikuwa tu time mbaya so hiyo ndio pale states hawakuwa wanataka do you wanna eat ali five years ago vile hii story ileta ngori so states kila mtu alikuwa ame cross fingers anasema aki Jessica tafadhali maintain tu unajua wewe ni mtoto wa mwaka moja na nusu lakini you can do this kumbukeni Jessica akiwa pale ndani mguu amepiga split so mguu moja iko juu ya kichwa hivi hiyo mguu mwingine ndio imehang chini vibrations zinasukuma msichana chini pole 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 but wale wale minus wamekuja wale minus wa oil wako na vifaa deadly wamesema huyu msichana tunamtoa huyu huyu a a we are not about to lose this beautiful young girl na tuko na hizi vifaa zote so plan ni ile niliwambia tunachimba shaft mpaka chini then tukisha pita mali Jessica yuko tunaanza kuchimba across then twende tuokote mtoto wetu so wakaanza kuchimba wanaenda na rate nyingine deadly sana juu vibrations zinasukuma mtoto chini pole pole so lazima waende na mbio mbio kabisa waende wapite mali yuko you know the works so wakaenda wakachimba hiyo tunnel vizuri sana hiyo the shaft vizuri sana wakakuja wakafikia nani toto wakapata toto in fact ako very comfortable anaimba zile wimbo za Winnie the Pooh ile cartoon anapenda mbaya sana ako sawa kabisa but uh, once in a while hiyo ndio walikuwa wanataka walikuwa wanataka tu kusikia akiongea once in a while alikuwa anachoka analia 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 anabembelezwa bembelezo hapo anachoka analala akilala watu wanakula pressure juu amelala ama ameenda tuna need kujua so majama wakachimba wakafikia Jessica wakapita wakaenda chini sasa ikakuwa tuanze kuchimba across ndio to connect hii na hii hiyo mashine ambayo tumekosa jina yake ya kutoboa mawe hiyo kumbe ina operating hivyo vertically haiwezi enda hivi like uwezi ishikilie hivi haiwezi walijaribu ikakataa maze ikabidi jo au ma engineer huyo engineer yako huko chini akavutwa tena juu akaenda akaambia wase wadao mumeona ile mbio nimeshuka na hii mashini huko chini imagine imekataa kwenda across sababu hii mashini vile imedesigniwa inaweza drill tu chini haiwezi drill hivi diagonal ini horizontally yeah sasa ikakuwa mazee okay tutafanya nini wadao aki juu mtoto lazima tumfikie by any means necessary Jama moja brilliant sana aka come up na akasema kuna technology deadly sana inatumia maji water jet so water inatoka kwa mashini fulani na pressure so high ikishika mawe inachimba so mnaonaje tulete hiyo mashini tujaribu wakasema lete hiyo kitu very fast so jamaa akakam akarudishwa ndani na ile shaft ile mashini ikatupo huko ndani na hiyo pipe yake yote imeconnectiwa na truck ya maji so ina pump maji kwa hii machine ina hiyo machine inarusha inapiga jet ya maji kwa ukuta mpaka inatoboa kabisa Zzz, wakatoboa 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 pap mpaka wakaenda wakaconnect both shafts haya sasa ni tutoe msichana hapa wanaingia maze kwa shaft wanafikia Jennifer eh, Jessica wanapata Jessica ile position na meketi ni noma miguu zimesplit moja iko juu nyingine iko chini wanashindwa guy 
sasa tukimvuta hivi si tutamvunja zaidi yake but wakasema tumeshamfikia kama ni ku na mguu wacha tu na mguu lakini tusi deal na uhai tungangane tu nayo so wakaanza kumvuta pole pole tu pole 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 akakuja mpaka akatoshea vizuri pap akatoka wakamleta na hii tunnel wamechimba wakatokea kwa hii shaft ya pili then akapea na signal niaje vuta kitu juu after exactly 58 hours wale eh, paramedics na rescue nini wakivuta kamba the whole world ilikuwa ina watch hii kamba ikivutwa eh an inch at a time wanangoja tu kuona ikitokelezea hivi itatoka na nini maze kamba ilivutwa tu ile ile kuna kitu kama ka stretcher ilikuwa imeingizwa huko yenye ilikuwa imesupport huko jamaa na mtoto waliona tu kichwa ya mjamaa na stretcher na mtoto ametokelezea amefungwa bandage vizuri then vile alitokelezea juu kabisa sasa in the full glare of the cameras baby Jessica aka wink mara mbili the whole world ilikuwa up yani wamechangamka deadly maze after 58 hours kwa hiyo shaft Jessica was still alive maze alikuwa na injury deadly sana alikuwa amekatwa kutoka hapa kwa hairline mpaka eh, karibu katikati ya macho hiyo mguu juu ya kukaa hivyo for so long ilikuwa amepoteza function ya hiyo mguu alikuwa na bruises alikuwa na bruises huku kwa kichwa pia sababu kila time eh, activities kiwa kukiwa na drilling kukiwa na vibrations aki slip down anaenda akijigwara anajigwara so huku nyuma kwa kisogo uh, nywele imetoka ana bleed alikuwa na significant injuries lakini alikuwa hai very relaxed very composed hata in fact akitoka aku analia alikuwa tu ako sawa so akachukuliwa hapo very fast akafungwa vizuri akawekwa kwa ambulance teketeke akakimbizwa hospitali wakaenda wakamfanyia test zote kila kitu mguu ikarudishwa vizuri nini nini and within no time Jessica Maclure alikuwa sawa anatembea huko tu alikuwa anatembea fani kidogo juu mguu ilikuwa ijarudi fiti but ako sawa very happy manze hiyo story ilifanya family yake mnakumbuka wa 18 year olds walikuwa wajiwezi mama na baba ya Jessica maze in those 58 hours the whole world ilikuwa inatuma tu do do any kind of support tuma do tuma ideas tuma nini in less than three days our soul walikuwa wame move from being absolutely broke to millionaires walikuwa na like a million dollars imetumwa in a span of two days two and a half So at least maze ikahakikisha mtu huyu atakuwa na maisha fiti wakamwekea college fund yake safi wakaweka do nyingine kwa trust ndio akifika 18 years aipate wa wow, ikakuwa tu ni fiti unfortunately eh uh, watu wao wali mariana wakiwa wadogo sana unachukiwa kwa 18 years zote wawili hawajijui vipoa so hiyo marriage yao haiku last sana i think after two years waliachana but ile do at least ilisaidia mtoi at some point pia economy ilikami kakuwa mbaya so a fraction of hiyo pesa walikuwa wamechangiwa na wase ili kunywa maji lakini at least ile do ilibaki ilisaidia sana eh, Jessica Maclure kusoma all through eh, elementary school eh, high school na aka graduate akaenda mpaka kole uni akamaliza maze sasa hii Jessica Maclure ni mama mzima ako na miaka 37 zake <laughs> ako kabisa hakumbuki the hiyo story yote she was only one and a half years but amepigishwa my interview kila mahali mpaka amechoka juu anashinda gakiambia watu maze mna realize nilikuwa one and a half years eh? so sikumbuki sikumbuki nini ulizeni wale wasi walikuwa karibu na mimi au anaweza jua mimi bana I was too young eh hey, maze but eh hey, ilikuwa ni rescue story moja deadly sana man Most of the people when you are lishai kwa kwa situation kama hiyo before they never made it. Jessica Maclure yake ilikuwa ni a story of miracles. Maze. Yeah. Na hapo ndio tunafungia kipindi. Sana sana na shuku hii ndio episode yetu ya mwisho ya High and Heroines. Nataka ni kule pause kidogo niende nipige research. Nataka nione kama naweza rudi na more Kenyan stories sababu najua kuna very many uh, wonderful uh, women out here doing beautiful things. And those stories need to be told man so nataka ni kule pause kidogo niende nitafute ma stories kadha wakadha eh, when we resume the next season of high and heroines at least tukue na more kenyan stories tusishinde pia tukifanya stories za watu wa nje sana ama namna gani my friends
mko sawa sawa hapo sawa hiyo bamba sana kama kawa kama dawa eh, ikiwa bamba kuja na mbogi pia wasikie fiti na mfuko ikisumbua you know what to do sisi hatushindago na kitu ya kufanya na pesa otherwise nini wa true sana god our bless our bless sana tukutane kwa masinema kule to enjoy click click bang na ikienda online mshikie mabeste wenyu maze tunataka tuvunje rekodi na hii sinema bana it's about time the film industry in this country bana imetambulika au sio let's do this guys na watambua sana nyinyi wa true god our bless adios muchachos peace